Hi there, Michelle. Crafty Servings. The sun. So, if you came on Friday night, we had a lot of fun um, making some cute little feet. I'll show you the dried results. And then um, we're going to paint them up and we're going to make them into a cute gnome. But you can do so many things with these honestly and with this foam that I had um, it's gonna be fun so come say hi let me know you're out there just want to like straighten me out there so and we only need actually a few colors to paint too and they're gonna be put together into an adorable gnome we, I think we're going to paint up the ears, too, that we did. Y'all had me going the other night. Hello. Hello. Thank you for all those hearts. Hello, Donna and Anne, Carol Ann. How are you? I'm glad you caught me live, too. So if you like, go ahead and pass me on. I really appreciate it if you do that. If you're not on my Telegram, I do have Telegram now. I did not post the link now. There is a link that I posted Friday night. Um, but I'm on telegram that I let people know that I'm live. So hello, Kathy. How are you? Oh, it's, it, it's going to be cute. So let's, let me show you the end result. So I, I'd like to show you, maybe I can show you the back. So I used two different kinds the other night. All right. Well, on the live, I only used the um foam clay okay and i said before that i used the sculpey okay so i'll show you what these look like when we're all done when i'm done painting these but i'm in love with this foam clay i mean it's it's has a lot of give in it yet but it's so lightweight compared to using this um, for what i'm doing it's going to be perfect it, it honestly is going to be perfect so um not what i do but it's gonna be perfect for what i do my hello was minus oh hello daddy it's okay jody thank you for passing me on i appreciate it so if you were on the other night we had a lot of fun doing this you guys were telling me things to do um and what what I did, you know, I said I wanted to do some feet. So we put these feet together, these with the foam, and these need to dry 24 to 48 hours before you paint them. But they, they still, they're, they're foamy, um, but they're, they're not going anywhere when I'm pushing on them. So, and they're so lightweight. Um, I'm, I'm falling in love with this stuff. I can't wait to do like a rabbit with them, but tonight is going to be a gnome. Um, we did you guys were telling me other things to do so we did ears i'm going to paint these two because these might work with what i'm doing um i i changed them up a little bit i had them like as rounded ears like that but i pointed them after so we're, we're going to paint them up i did this nose but i'm not going, going to paint that nose i'm not going to paint him but we did that you guys wanted a nose um, we're going to use, see the difference is, is this is the, the Sculpey and it's really hard. It's, it's very hard. Um, this is the foam clay. It's, it has that little bit of give. Um, I think we're going to paint up this one. I might swap it out for one that I already painted though, because I like that bigger nose, but we'll see how this one works. Thank you, Diane. So, okay, so we're gonna do these two feet. Let me see what two feet I wanna do. Okay, I want similar size. Okay, these two are similar size. I think these two were done together and these two were done together. Let's do, let me just see Let's do these littler ones. Either ones honestly would work, okay? 
but we're going to do these littler ones. We're going to do the nose and we're going to do the ears. And these were the lips you had me do the other night. <laughs> They're pretty cute too, but I, I mean, I love the texture of this. I love how light they are. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and paint. I'm going to show you where I'm using three colors for painting the feet. Um, two colors for the nose, so two of the same colors, and probably three colors for the, these ears too. And I don't know that we're going to use the ears, but we're going to um, we're going to paint them just in case. All right, so first, the, the three, let me tell you the three colors we're using. Hello, Carla. Clay, you thought clay was just clay? And honestly, so watch my Friday night. Let me show you the difference. Let me show you the difference. So Sculpey is what um, I did not do on the live, but I did before, and I'll show you. It's And like I said, I showed you that other, that nose, and it's very hard. This stays sort of squishy, but it's not going anywhere. It's squishy, but and it's so lightweight. What I used, and it was so much fun, is this foam clay. Um, I got this on Amazon. It, it honestly, this was the largest one, and I think it was like seventeen dollars. But it you it. It barely used anything, and I had a lot of feet in here. I had a lot of feet that I made, and the nose and the eyes. So this would go a long way. So you can get smaller containers of this too, but I think once you use it, you're going to be hooked, and you're going to want to do a lot of things. So that's what I used. Put that down here. All right. So the three color paint that I'm using tonight, they're all deco art. First one is honey honey brown and I'm using cinnamon stick and then I'm going to use dark chocolate those are the three colors I'm using I'm going to start by base coating everything in the honey brown Yeah, I love that foam, Kathy. I, I really do. This is the first time I've used it and after letting it dry um, yeah, I, I really, really love how it turned out. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I, I don't have to do the other side, but I do have to get all the way around. Um, I'm going to get my baby wipe out right away because I'm going to get full. How did the foam, you know what? I had pulled that one out. I actually, I had pulled that one out at the end of the live and it actually made a good indentation. So I know if it would have been dry, if I, or put in the cornstarch, um, prior to doing it, I would have been able to probably pull it out right away, but I pulled it out towards the end of that live and it, I mean, it had a great indentation. So I did not go back and put it in there after again. Um, I should try that on one, right? All right, I'm just painting. Aren't they cute? We're going to make them look sort of like old feet, I think. All right, and to me, bottom of feet are always darker, um, are, are just darker because of the wear and tear on them. So that's why we're making them look old. You got wear and tear on your toes. All right, and we do have to give it two coats. But it paints up really, really nice also. I'm just in there. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one aside. Will you be making a bunny with these parts? No, I'm gonna be making a gnome, Judy. I'm going to make a gnome tonight, but I do plan, I because I, I've fallen in love with using this foam, I do plan on making a bunny. Um, but these feet, I, I'm, I think for a bunny, I always picture like three toes. Um, so yeah, there is so many things you could do with this. You can go so many different directions, and I do plan on making some big bunny feet and make a cute bunny too. I may do the whole thing in this um, 
foam clay other than what I would probably do is try the foam clay um, like for the body itself because um, it depends how I make it um, depending what the body is if I'm going to cover the whole body with clay then I would see about doing maybe tin foil in the middle and covering the outside of it so I'll play with it and I do plan on doing one of them on a live though I just want to touch on because it, it does come off on your fingers then it's got to dry good um, all right so let's just do these ears and I did practice painting the feet earlier so I have one pair done but I did not practice ears we only made one pair that night I do think we have to paint the front and back though now that I think about it of these because if I use these you're gonna see front and back I haven't been crafting or watching crafters in a while 20 wasn't a good year oh saying sending prayers for you Kim I'm glad you caught me too I'm glad you came on I hope 2023 is a better year for you so I am very glad you're on some people honestly have messaged me in the past that it's just been therapeutic for them to come on and watch lives. Um, it gives them a sense of community and something to take their mind off of things that are going on. So just like it is for us to do this, it, it really helps us also. All right, let's do this ear. Yeah, like I said, I think we have to do both sides. You're going to get messy. I mean, you can figure out how you can do it best. You can do one side if you want and then the other side. Um, whatever's going to work. So again, if you're hopping on late, this is Honey Brown, Deco Art Honey Brown. And thank you so much for the stars. I really appreciate it. I hope you love what I'm going to do tonight. It's going to be really cute. I think it's going to be really cute anyhow. So appreciate it. All right, let's just get the rest of this one all painted up again. You're going to get some on your hands and some's going to come off. Just lay it down and do the best you can. Like I said the feet, you're not going to see both sides. Uh, the nose, you're not going to see both sides either. But those ears, if we use them, you will. So. Um, I'm just painting around the nose because I'm not sure what side is going to be my favorite. And I may pull the nose off of the one that I was practicing with because I really like the size of that nose. All right. Okay. Thank you, Anne, for passing me on. Oh, Kim, I don't know about that, but I just have fun what I do. All right. Well, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I was just drying my hands, but that's not a good thing on here. Especially on a light color sweatshirt. Get that to dry. All right, let's, um, I think we can go back. These, this is already almost dry. We're gonna go back in and give it that second coat. And then we're gonna start painting to add detail on these little toes. Just make sure you get in between them really well. The other thing I noticed with um, with the air dry clay, the not the foam clay, the Sculpey, and I know it, it'd be easy enough just to use some glue on it, but so I have toothpicks that I put on to hold these in place. And honestly, I probably could pull them off. I'm, I'm sure I could pull it off, but on the air dry, it actually, because it, it, sh it shrunk a little, and I'm, I'm guessing these did too, but those, I mean, are really loose that I think I'd have to go in and glue them if I'm really going to use them. Um, but I was able to paint them 
and I, I will show you that again when I'm done just get all around good color. and you can use it you could use a flesh tone color I just thought because the bottom of your feet always have such a wear and tear on them that I wanted to use a little darker Oh, thank you, Paula. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweatshirt and Mickey Mouse pants. All right, all the way around the outside of the ears again. Like I said, I'm not positive I'm going to use the ears, but I think with what I'm going to do with these, the ears will turn out really cute. Um, I just want to make sure wherever I touch that that's covered back up. All right, we're actually almost done painting with this color. The painting doesn't take long. Oh, I do. I, I want to paint the back of them though too again. Like I said, the ears you would see both sides. It's just. It's okay if the back isn't as good as the front, but we do want to make sure there's no white anywhere. And like I said, it peeled off on my fingers just now, so there's white there. Okay, and now we have to do the nose. Elizabeth, thank you so much for the size. I really appreciate it. Let's do this nose. Again, the nose does not need to be all the way around. I don't know what side is going to be my favorite, so I'm just doing as much of it as I can. And just going on all around. Okay. All right, that was all the honey brown. And we're going to come back in and use a little of that yet after we do the next color. Okay, this has to dry a little bit. I'm going to try using the, I'm going to try using this. I just don't want it very close because I don't want to heat it up. I just want the air. And I don't have to um, do the ears as much, I don't think, right now. I said I'm really holding this high because it gets so hot. I don't want that heat on it. I just want air. Okay, I think the feet are ready. Ears will be okay when I when I work on them, I think. Okay. So next I'm gonna use Deco Art Cinnamon Stick. And we're just gonna add some light color to it. And it's almost gonna be like a stain that we're doing. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna wet my brush and get that more watery so i want to do it more as a little bit of a stain so um and i'll probably be using my fingers so you can see i'm going to do that and i'm going to do it around maybe leave that middle part open just spread that in a little on the toes There's probably so many different ways you could do it. Okay, see that? And that'll dry. Um, let's get more water. And we're going to be adding more yet. 
they're gonna they're gonna turn out really they're gonna turn out really cute. All right, let's just add stain this up, stain around the heel. I'm just figuring on leaving that middle part well on stain and just blend it in. Get back on the toes. Now the next step is where you're really gonna see a difference. All right, let's let that go. Let's do a little bit of this on the ears. Let me just think, do I even want any on the ears? Maybe just a little. Okay, so the ears, if I if I use them, they're going to be up like this. They're actually going to be out like that. Um, yeah. So let me just try putting a little, just a little, just to add some color in. Okay, just added that little bit of. So that this color again is cinnamon stick. Blend it in good. There. Aren't the feet cute? Oh, now I'm going to be decorating them more now. So I'm going to do one. You're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference now. This is where they really are going to really pop out. So let's just start with the one. This one is a little dampness on you. We're going to start with this one. Okay, so we got that. Um, now I'm going to use the dark chocolate. And I'm also going to have a wet brush, but it's a very thin little skinny brush is what I'm doing. And I'm going to get a little bit of water in here, get that pretty runny. We can always add more as we do it. So you want to do like, just take your time and get like right in by those toes. And I'll show you the difference between the two when I'm done painting this, this toe part. Okay, so you get right down in between there. And then you want to get in between the toes some also. These are so cute. Okay, so just get between the toes. It's okay if you get some on it, just blend it in. Okay, so you see how that really made a difference there? Let me show you the difference. Can you, can you see that dark in there? get a different brush. That one just has extra little hairs coming out and I just want such a fine little brush here. Um, I had another one. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Alright, um, I just want a fine little brush. I only had one here before. Here, this one will work good. This so is what I want to do too. Is take that that real wet brown, so it's still almost like a stain. And we're going to do a couple little lines here, and maybe like a line come down here. And then we'll do a line over here. And we're just gonna blend that a little. See it? Okay, and then let's just add another layer of the brown. Get that really dark in there.
see that? I see you, Paula. I see you. Yep, I see you. So some of this I, I have a hard time because I have to keep going. Um, but yes, I see you. All right, so let's, I'm going to do the toes. Let me show you, show you the difference one more time. So this one has the shading on and this one does not yet. So let's just get in between again. You want to get right down in the crease of the toes. Now, if you did not see how I made these feet, we did them on Friday night, on a Friday night, late night live. Um, it was fun. It was fun. Between the toes. I said, if you end up getting it too far off in the toes that you don't want, you can always paint on it again. Um, start with the other color again. Let's just paint. All right, and then we're going to get a little bit on the creases again. So we want to do maybe a little here. Oops. Yeah, too much water, it's not going to show up. Just need to get that a little bit more. All right, let's do one over here. And this one actually had creases in when I was bending it so you can see those creases that are already in there. Aren't they cute, Paula? All right, I'm going back and watch. Yeah, Friday, and we have fun Friday night. Um, I was at, I only planned on doing the feet and we ended up doing ears. We ended up doing a nose. Try to heart if that was sort of funny how that ended up. All right. So we got that. Now I'm going to go back. Um, you know what? Let's do let's do a little of that brown in here. In the ear. Darken that up some. And I'll show you the difference again by doing this. So I did not practice doing the ears earlier. But I'm doing it the same way I sort of did the toes. Okay, so I mean it's hard to tell because the one is wet. It it'll it's it looks funny because it's wet. Let me let's just let that dry. Let's do this one. Just really spread it in good, almost like a stain. Comments are not scrolling for some reason. Oh, that's weird, Lois. Do you try going in and out, Lois? You could try that. Um, she was going to do mittens, but oh, I did try hands. I did try hands. Somebody asked me to try, and and I did. They were sort of funny to do that. But honestly, with what I'm doing, I don't. I wouldn't use them. I I wouldn't use them because when we're done with this, we're gonna put it together into into a gnome, and I'll show you. It's so stinking cute. All right, so let's. I'm just gonna get this brush back out, um, and we're gonna dip back in that honey brown again. The brush a little bit wet. I want this more as a stain again. Just a little bit of that light. And I'm almost going over the dark of the brown that I used on the creases. You can see the difference by adding that white on. Again, I think it's making it look. So this is the one I just added a little bit, or not white, it's 
um, that honey brown again. I'm just adding a little more dimension by almost, almost, um, it's not really dry brushing, but we're just adding a little more color in a few places and go over a little over that dark brown. Put a little on the toes. Aren't they cute, cute, cute? Let's get a little on these toes. I'm gonna get on this sweatshirt, yeah. What clay did you use? The other night, and so then it had to dry, was this foam clay. I got this at, on Amazon. Good thing he's in ticklish, right? That's what my husband said. He said, how could I be making feet when my feet are so ticklish, when I'm sitting here touching on them? All right. Um, okay, I do think I want to just add um, a little more of this dark brown in the middle here. Blend it in. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little of this cinnamon on this nose. Again, I may swap the nose because I like the other nose better that I did earlier. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon on here. And just blend it in. I don't want like a sharp line. So we just added that little bit on there. All right. I think we have all our painting done. Now we're going to do a gnome. I am well, Susan. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing good too tonight. And that dries in the air. It dries in the air. Yep. 24 to 48 hours. Honestly, this has been, it's been 48 hours now. Um, let me show you. So now I'll show you. I did the Sculpey also. I'll show you the difference. Um, so these are more, more of the ones that we did the other night. Um, they have a cushion to it and they're so lightweight. That's what I like for what I'm going to be doing. Now, if I was going to be using the clay, which I'll show you. I did. They're they're cute. They turned out really really cute, but they're heavy, and I'm going to be using toothpicks with these. All right. I already did for the toes the other night, but I'm going to be using toothpicks to put them on my gnome. I would not be able to do it with this air dry. Those. So I didn't completely do. I didn't do all the staining and stuff on here, but and then also. I, oh no, that one is tight. One of mine was pretty loose before. But so these are real heavy. They're like a plaster, like a plaster, or I mean, it's a heavy clay that was using the Sculpey. All right, but they're they're adorable. It depends what you're going to use them for. If you were going to put something on top of them, like say you were going to set gnome on top, like something like this, they'd be perfect because they would definitely hold up. Okay, they're very heavy. These are not. So there might be a purpose for for ones like this, but for what I'm doing, these are going to work great. All right. The time you relax from you are very busy. It is, Susan. It is. It was very busy, but it was very good. So, yep, 24 to 48 hours. And like I said, it it has the squish to it, but it's not flattening. So if you did this before it was dry, it would flatten. All right, let's let these dry now. I'm itching here because I was using burlap before. All right, we're gonna set that up here and we're gonna start the gnome. It's it's an easy gnome. We're going to use a six inch cone. Okay, you can, these come two in a set. I don't know if this was, you can get this at um, Dollar Tree. I know you can. I don't know if this was Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or Walmart, you can get them anywhere, okay. So this was six inch, use what you have. All right, and we're just going to grab some fur here. Do I have scissor? I do. 
and I'm going to make a triangle. Let's see. So you can tell I use the fur. I want to find part of a triangle that. See, the fur goes up and down like this. So I'm almost going to. Oh, you know, no. So the point has to be at the bottom. Just use over here, I think. And I need it as a triangle. Let's just cut this off. See if I can't use. I need to wrap around partially. This part isn't wide enough. I, I'd like that a little wider. So I do have to, uh, I'm itching, itching. We're going to use down here. Need cut across this way. If you haven't seen me cut um, fur before, you get right underneath this backing. That way you're not cutting off the fur itself. Hello, why it's what not, hello. All right, so just do right underneath. And like I said, I'm making a very simple gnome that's gonna use those feet that we just painted. And the nose. So this is going to go around like this, but I'm going to make it come down more to a, a triangle. So just looking for a form. If I have my paper here, here, I'm just going to guesstimate it. So I'm going to start in the middle here. Um, I'm starting in the middle of those two and I just put a little slice and then I'm going to go up towards that corner on each side. Again, you don't want to cut just the whole thing because then you're cutting the fur itself. You just want to cut the backing. You're going to have a lot less mess when you do that too. all the way in. I just have fur all over. I can just feel it. All right, and then we're going to do a piece up here. I'm going up to that other corner. You get that everywhere. I'm dunking don donut hot coffee right now watching. Oh, yum. Yum. I had coffee just like before supper. I just, sometimes you're just thirsty for it. Otherwise, I usually have it in the morning, several cups. Okay. All right. This is going to be our beard. Now we're going to cover this cone just to make sure. It's going to have fur all over me. Just to make sure you don't see it. I'm going to take a piece of this burlap. I'm just going to roll it around. Get an idea. I'm not that picky when it comes to the burlap. It doesn't have to go all the way to the top either. Just roll it. I just guesstimate. If your um, 
pickier about it or what I honestly do sometimes is I'll take a piece of paper and do it first and get that caught and then lay it on it but um this will be good I just want to make sure it's going to go all the way around And these strings don't matter. You don't need them. So you're not going to see most of this. We're just going to wrap it around and cover that up. And we're going to glue it on. So you want it to get it all the way to the bottom, though. Mainly because you're going to see that in the back possibly Just a cool one here You can't do coffee or you'll be up all night. You know, and I get that. Some people really have that problem. So I don't I don't usually have that problem. I think once in a while I notice it, but not too often. Alright. So and I'm just gonna trim off this bottom. Okay, so now the fur, I'm actually going to put over Make sure that's done. I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to keep it down down here. The fur over the spot to hide it. Yep, I do that. I do that. Only thing is, I might have to take a little bit of this off because you're going to see that otherwise. Nope, that'll be good. Okay, so I do put it over where I just glued, and that way the back is going to be nice. Tuck this in a little too. Now you're not going to see this top part because they're going to have a hat. So I'm just going to make it a little tighter over here. Yeah, some people do all have coffee all day long, Kathy. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this on and cover up that front. So we're going to go ahead and do that right away. You know, I see us the start of putting together. We're gonna wait with the feet yet. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Yeah, we're gonna do a hat. Okay. So, well, I want you guys to pick the color of the hat. The practice one I have is green. Picture you got these color. So you could either have this is this is what I did for a practice. I had green on here. I think this would be adorable, a yellow, or this gold, or the other option would be brown. To me, the brown, I think, was almost too dark, but I don't know. Which do you think I should do? So we'll go with one of those colors. So do you like yellow, brown, or green? 
gold, gold. See, I'm leaning towards it. Okay, three gold in a row, it's gold. My other one I'll show you is the green. Um, I did that one in green. So I'm fine with doing this one gold. I think it's gonna be really, really cute. All right. So this is just a piece of felt. And let me picture how I did it. All right, I'm going to do this bottom as a trim. Now, there's so many different ways you can make the hat. This honestly will work um, really well doing it this way. I'm just going to make a line. I want to have like a trim. Fold this up. I so said you can use any hat. If you don't want to do a hat like this, you can use a straw hat. You can do whatever. You'll see the green actually is really cute. Like I said, I did do a green and you'll see that, but I think I love this color too. This was this would have been another option that I have. Okay, so I did one little fold like that. Now I'm going to do one more and make it a little wider because that's going to be our trim on the bottom. Just using the glue and I'm just using regular Gorilla Glue. This is really not, didn't go in straight. That's the problem here. this up yes the feet I made out of foam clay on Friday night um, and we painted them tonight you running to get some tomorrow Carol or Paula all right so this is going to be the hat but what I'm going to do to make it fit okay, I'm going to fold it in half. Now this is just the way I'm doing it. You can do it whatever way you want. I'm going to fold it in half and um, I'm just going to cut this up to a peak like that. And then we're going to glue and turn it inside out. So I'm thinking, is there something I want to stick inside of here? Or do I want to just maybe put a little fur at the top? You know what? Um, I can add a little fur to the top. Let's just do that. What kind of clay? This is the kind that I use for this. Now again, I said I did try doing the Sculpey. It definitely would work, but it's very, very heavy. And the other thing is, is I'm going to be attaching these with toothpicks and you won't be able to do that when that Sculpey is dry. Okay, so um, unless you drill a hole, I mean, I guess if you get a drill out and do it, you could, um, but so this will work perfect. If you're gonna be setting the gnome on top of those feet, they would work great okay all right so i hope this is going to this is giving me grief and i don't know why i'm gonna try and glue this just running a bead of glue along the edge here again you can do this in so many ways but I want to turn mine inside out. And we might have to fix it some as we do, but. It 
it was fun, Kathy. I had fun. I had fun. I felt that I have to buy a cone. You know, you could probably get away without, like, if you don't have a cone, you could use a flower pot. Honestly, that would work. Um, I mean, you probably, you know, look at what you got. A vase. Uh, a vase would maybe work. Um, so if you don't get anywhere to get one, you could probably make do with something else. All right, I'm just really making sure this is tight and I want to make sure it's good and dry. I do see the feet all together with this. It's going to be cute. All right, this has to be good and dry because then we're going to flip it. What do I'm going to leave this top open in case I want to stick something in it. A stuffed sock would absolutely work too. And that's the way I, I started making gnomes is with the stuffed socks, like with rice or beans. I hope so, Ann. All right, so now some of this is probably gonna come apart. You, you know, I'm just gonna take my time and try and do it without, this, especially this bottom is gonna come apart and then we just re-glue it. Bring this in. Fold cardboard, that's a great idea. So yeah, if you don't have access to get somewhere right away, you can still make gnomes. Okay. All right, we're gonna try and get this out again without pulling that glue. Yeah, the fur, and you can get fur at um, Hobby Lobby. You can sometimes get it at some Walmarts. Um, I like getting a Hobby Lobby when it's on sale. But like I said, it, Walmart had a really cute one. I honestly think you can get this one at Walmart. Okay, I'm just really working on this hat to get that up in there without doing too much. Did leave that top open, but I don't know that I want to push it all the way out either. So if I need to, I could, yeah, if I need to, I could put something inside of here. So my thought, I could even stick, um, but I don't want it to be like a, like a scarecrow or something. I could even stick fur in there, but I could stick some raffia to come out of there, but I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. If anything, I'm going to put fur on top, I think. All right, so this actually stayed really, really well. Let's just get the rest of this seam pushed out. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue on this back because that did start coming off a little bit. Now I did this piece sort of as a house shape. That's why you got that extra spot back here. But I think when you scrunch it, it works fine. You can certainly do it as a triangle or whatever way you want to make your hats. Oh, awesome, Connie. All right, we're gonna start putting this together. We're gonna to start making cute. So this is going to be going on like that. All right, so let's picture. Get our toothpicks out. We're going to start putting it together. And then we'll decorate a little bit on that hat too. Because this hat, we're going to scrunch a little bit and just make it look fun. OK. 
Okay, and you can use fabric. You, you don't have to use that either. All right, so we're going to see. We're possibly going to do the ears too. Not sure. This no. Oh, this nose will work. I feel like I need a little more orange on that nose. I um. I'm going to add a little more orange on it because I need a little, I want a little highlighting on it. Or I want it to be so you can see a little more. Okay. All kinds of ideas, yeah? All kinds of ideas. Okay. So that's going to go right up in there. Okay. So let's get, like I said, well, I'll probably, seeing I did a different color hat, we'll probably leave that nose on that one and we'll do this. Okay. So we're going to do the feet first. Probably use the whole thing now. Yeah, we could probably use the whole thing. Okay. I don't know how high I need to stick it. We're going to do two feet. Now that has to go in far enough so that it doesn't um, come out the feet when you stick your foot on. But I want my feet, the reason why I'm using toothpick instead of glue too is so that... Um, it can stand out a little bit. You see? Do you see it? Are you liking it? Really push that in good. You make a little, I have a little bit, a bit of white that's showing right there. Look at that. Look at them. Look at them. We need this nose tucked up in here. We're going to do that also on a toothpick. Okay, now I was going to say. cute I feel like I have to I have to move this this one down a little and that's another reason why if you don't use glue it's okay because you can adjust them look at that now the ears you tell me whether we should put these ears on I don't know I don't know that I'd like the ears we'll see we'll put an ear on we can always pull it back out if you love this, please pass me on. Okay, please pass me on if you love this. All right, let's see what an ear would look like. I sort of <laughs> let's see how am I gonna do that it doesn't feel quite right going on <laughs> so 
So this is how you could do rabbits. Okay. If do you like the ears? Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate it. Do you like the ears? This is how you could do a rabbit. Do you like the ears? Let's put the other one on. And we can just pull them out if you don't like them. <laughs> this is the goofiest looking thing. But this is how you could do your rabbit too. And we're going to decorate the hat a little bit yet. It did sprinkle. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Let's stick this here. That one seemed to stick on easier. I don't know what the deal is with this one. Just wait. let's move it. I think it's a, is a toothpick not liking it or? It's almost like this toothpick. It's solid. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Is that not the goofiest thing? Yes, that's my pretty clock. Yeah, he does look like a troll, doesn't he? So he doesn't really look like a gnome. Do you like the ears or not? If you like the ears, um, let me know. Ears or no ears? We're going to, okay, let's do um, some trim, though, on the hat, a little bit on the hat. And we need a button, you know. You know we need a button. And I'll show you the green partner. And then this has to sort of, you love the ears? <laughs> it's the goofiest looking thing. <laughs> like the eighth dwarf. Did the molds. Okay, now these were not molds. These were not molds. I made these the other night, Friday night, with just with foam clay. These are not, are you talking about these? These are not molds. I made them with foam clay the other night. <laughs> I just, but can you see a rabbit now? Can you see doing a rabbit? All right, this is just a couple pieces of burlap I'm gonna use. Just pull the edges. Just gonna adjust this hat a little more. Thank you. I appreciate it. No ears. <laughs> oh, Lily's catching me from this way. Have a good one. Show my hobby. I don't know what he'd say. He really was impressed though when I was trying that one. He was he was impressed with it. I don't know what it, he liked it, but he was impressed with like the feet and put together. He was trying to help me. I was struggling with the hat because I didn't want. Um, so you don't really notice this color. Um, let me just see. I have green burlap. Um, the other, let's try it. Let's see. Let's just see. He makes you happy. Oh, awesome. Let's try doing doing the patches with this maybe. I also have a red a red one here. We'll see. I 
I just don't know that you see the, oh, but this takes away from everything. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, that, that actually, if I don't glue it down tight and a little bit comes up on the edges, that actually isn't that bad on there, right? What do you think? The other one, the burlap worked good on the green. What if I make them a little smaller? Let's make it just a little smaller. It's okay, Roxanne, but are you liking this? Isn't it cute? Let's do a little smaller. Smaller, smaller, smaller. But now I'm cutting my rough edge off. I just like rough edges. Fur would be cute. So we can do that. I could do a little fur on the top too. Yeah, I think this patch does work. The only thing is, if I use this color patch, does it take away from... Um, does it take away from the rest of him? What if I make, I'm going to make this even tinier. I'm going to put it on top of that burlap and see what that looks like. <laughs> Leave the ears. <laughs> they do make me smile. I only made the one pair the other night too. That's the only pair I made. Okay, I do sort of like that. I like that. I'm gonna do that because I think that burlap behind brings out the beard, right? The burlap brings out the beard. <laughs> Velcro to stick on, then you can take it off. Yep, I know. Yep, you definitely could take it off. I'm. I think I'm fine with this. I'm really fine with putting this on here now because I like having that burlap behind, and I'm going to leave that stick up a little bit like that. And then we gotta find a button too. <laughs> it just makes me smile. Oh. All right, let's trim this one down smaller. Okay, and let's grab this piece here. It's the ears. <laughs> I know, I, the other one does not have ears, so you'll see the difference. All right, let's just put this one up here. strings off of him. Okay, now what I could do I could stick a little burlap out of the top. I don't know that I like that though. I don't know that I want anything out of the top. Let's just try a little piece of fur. <laughs> Thank you. 
Do we want fur sticking on the top? Maybe, huh? That probably won't be too bad. Can you see that close? Maybe we do have that little fur, right? Let's do a little fur on the top. So this is just a little scrap piece that I have here that I'm just gonna wind up. No idea what it's going to look like when it's done here. Just a fun little, look at it, it, it how about, just that fun little, it's not coming apart, that's, yes, I made the feet out of foam clay Friday night, so I'll show you what it looks like before we painted them tonight, we painted them tonight, and um, we painted them tonight, I made them Friday night on live, and then we painted them tonight and we did the ears and we did the nose. So now to make sure these feet are going to stay where they need to be, you could, now they're in with toothpicks, but you could um, put a little dab of glue on those toothpicks then and they'll stay in. So I th actually think I'm gonna do that. Just put a little dab right on the toothpick. Then it's going to stay on. So make sure it's positioned where you want before you would do that. <laughs> oh goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, you want to see this? So this is this one. Oh, we need button. We need button, and we need a button on the other one. Let's finish. So I said the other one I did with a green hat. This one does not have ears. This was the green hat, and the green honestly works for it. So let's just do. We're but we're just going to do a little bit of burlap trim. We'll put button on each and. We could put a bow on this one and say it's a girl. We could have a boy and a girl. He looks magical. Oh, that's sort of sweet. Those <laughs> ears, <Seriously>, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's put this up on this one. You're sending all over the place. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. So I just feel, I feel like we could do a boy and a girl here, but let's get the button on. So one has, I only had ears made for one from the other night. So that's why one has ears, one does not. The other thing, I did have some of this fabric I just coffee stained. Let's just see. As a, um, on that one. This would make a really cute bow for him. Yeah. This would be a really cute bow for this one. 
sounds like be going to a store. <laughs> yeah, you will have to. All right, so let's do get the button. Now we need a fur trim on here. Let's just do that quick. Do we want to add a bow to this one? And that way we could see maybe it doesn't have big ears. It could be a girl. Did the hole that pop open in the back? Did the, did it, oh, it, it held. It held. This one popped open earlier just um, when I turned it, but then I just glued it back right away. Okay, we're going to add a little bow to him. We're actually going to use some burlap, and we're going to use that green that I um, coffee grunged. And we're going to put this up on the hat. Try not to burn me. I stuck my finger in it. Okay, and we'll do this on on this one. Hot. All right, let's do that little bowl. So this is just, this is actually very white, very white and green. Um, that, and I coffee grunged it. So let's just do a bowl with that. We'll add some burlap in with it too. Charlotte and Oliver. Oh, those are cute names. All right, let's um. All right, I'm gonna do three of these coffee grunge. This one's actually a little damp yet. Sorry, we'll do three of these. Um, I just need to, I need to see her. And I have to glue her feet in place. Let's, um... Uh, let's just use I like raffia but I think it takes away from this so we're gonna use just a little bit of the burlap I have a whole big roll down here is what I've got. I'm just going to use that as a base on the back. It's just going to be a single one. Okay, and then I need something to tie it with here. Actually, we'll use one of these burlap strings to tie it with. Can you put one of your butterfly buttons on her big toe? Oh, that would be pretty big though. That would be a cute idea, but that would be really big. A little ladybug would be cute on there too, right? I have little ladybugs, but I think they're too big too. 
All right, so I'm just did three little strips of fabric. And we're going to put that right on. On here and it's just going to be a cute little we might have to trim it down a little. I'm just using a piece of this burlap to tie to tie it just one of the strings. Yeah, Marjorie, you have to see how I painted the feet. All right. Big. I like dovetail bows. So I'm just dovetailing these. This one is a little bit big. But we're going to cut that one down a little. Almost done, and then we'll do random act of kindness drawing. I'm so happy with how these gnomes turned out. I'm I seriously am going to do an Easter bunny one. Seeing those ears on that gnome, I'm I've got to do an Easter bunny with this foam. All right, so this is just a cute little simple bow, coffee grunge fabric and burlap. I'm gonna put it right over on the side here. The Easter Bunny would be really, really cute with this. I almost feel like this is too big yet. Yeah, it's it's a little too big. You gotta cut it down. And we'll cut that burlap down a little too. Thank you, Vicki. All right. There, that's a little better size. We're going to just put that right over here. I wonder. I'm actually going to put it right up here. Maybe not. I wish I went to put that one there. I really wish I went to. We're going to do it right over here. Right on the side there. Okay, now we just need our buttons and we're done. That'll be a cute one on there. Um, you know what? Just wait. I've got a little flower shaped one we're going to put on her and we're going to put that one over on him, I think. Yep. Nancy, did you make the feet, etc., on a live? I did. I did the feet. I 
I shaped the feet on Friday night on a live with the foam clay. I painted it tonight as as we were on this one. So this is a little longer live, but I painted them tonight. I shaped them the other night because they needed to dry. They air dry. All right, so this one I do want to, I have to glue these feet on tight. And I have them on toothpicks, so I'm just gluing the gluing it on the toothpick. Just putting that little bit of glue on there is all I'm doing. And that's going to keep them straight the way they need to be. You can always still pull the toothpick if you wanted to. All right. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Nancy, Diane. I'm glad they make you smile. They honestly are making me smile. <laughs> I couldn't have I couldn't have imagined them any cuter. I really couldn't have. You want to know my inspiration for this project is I saw a little flower pot, a little gnome flower pot with feet in, but it had like your greenery coming out of it. That was my inspiration for this one. So find inspiration of other things and then give it your take on it. Isn't she cute? She's cute. This button is going to just be all by itself, I think. They need them for their rooms, one Becky. <laughs> I tell you, I enjoy going there every week. Um, I always say the elderly are near and dear to my heart. When I'm there, my mom, it always says that we take a walk. Well, my mom's in a wheelchair, but that's her walk, you know, and she wheels herself around. I follow her around. We stop at several of the rooms of people that she's very close to. And I mean, they just, they love that company. They love smiling and saying hi. And one of them always invites um, me in to see her puzzle. And my mom and I always fix puzzle there. Um, it just, it just makes you smile when you see them smile. Like it just, it really does. I'm just like, if I need a little bigger one. I don't think so. Yeah, so, and I'll show you right now, um, I'll show you the feet before I painted them tonight. If you weren't on at the beginning, I'll show you, I have another pair of feet here. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? There. Aren't those? They're just, just, I couldn't have planned them better. And, you know, and that's why, didn't the green, the green did work. It, it worked with it. But, yeah, those ears, those ears. Awesome, Sharon. That makes me happy when I make your guys' day. That makes me happy because I can tell you it makes me happy doing this too. It totally makes me happy. Okay, let me show you and then we'll do random at the kindness drawing. So don't run away. Somebody else gave me stars out there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so let me show you the clay again. And I do did put an affiliate link the other night. Um, for Amazon where I got mine now this size is like it's just over a pound it's 500 grams so it's just over a pound this is the largest size that they had of this kind you can screenshot if you want okay um, it honestly will last a while. I mean, if I make something that's big, like big clumps, I think I would put tinfoil in, in between and then try and do it. But these little pieces, it's going to last forever. 
um, not forever, but it depends how much you're going to make. Um, but I love it. So this large one though was, I think it was like 1777 or something like that, but they had smaller sizes too. You probably can get it other places, but this is what I used. Um, I did, let me show you. I did use Sculpey clay also as an experiment. I didn't do that on the live. I did it before the live and I did the foam clay on the live. This is this, but I did not paint it completely tonight. All the different stain like I did on these. I just painted the one color. Um, but these are a lot heavier and they're, they're, all, they're like a, a solid plaster. So like to be able to be able to put it on there on a toothpick, I would never be able to do that unless you, unless you drill it because it's solid. It's okay. This foam, it's, well, I guess you can hear that, but no, it's, it's squishy, but it's dry. Okay. So it takes 24 to 48 hours to air dry. Both of these do, um, to get, you want all that moisture out of them. So these were what they looked like before we painted them tonight. And I did them the other night on a live. We played then after I was only going to do these, but we played and we made like a funny nose, which I guess you could, you could probably do a funny nose on one of these. That would be cute. We did those ears. We did lips. We did, we did lips. Um, this is a nose in that clay. There's just, there's just no way I would get a toothpick in here. So, and I like using the toothpick because they stand out. If I would glue it on, I don't think they would stand out like that. So it was important to be able to use the toothpick. And then this is another nose. Look at it, it's squishy, but it's not going anywhere. It just goes right back. So it's completely dry. The other night it would not have done that. It, you know, so that's, that's, um, did you have a mold? I freehanded them on Friday night, Carol, on a live on here. So check that out. All right. So, yep, we did the feet on a live Friday night. Um, and tonight we painted them and put them together into these adorable, adorable gnomes so let's do random act of kind of strong and then we get to bed you are very welcome thanks so much for passing me on i appreciate it and thanks so much for even if you don't pass me on and thanks for all these hearts emojis comments that all helps okay so we just really need that help to be able to keep our reach up so is the clay bendable after it dries? Let's try the nose because I won't use the nose for anything. You know, I probably could tear it. You know, if I turn it, I probably could tear it. But I mean, it's bendable, this part of the nose is. But it keeps going back to where it was. So honestly, I'm, I love this air dry clay or air, um, it's the, uh, foam clay. I love it. I've never used it before. So, um, there, it turned out perfect. Um, I don't think I'll use these lips either. I mean, honestly, they're solid. I probably could tear it apart where I put them together. I think I could tear it apart there. Yeah, I, I could. But did you do well? Did it? Did I do well in the mold? Are you talking? Okay, so I had, did that other mold the other night. I just did it and I pulled it out before I was done with the live. So it did come out. I didn't put the cornstarch in first. It took a little bit to dry, but it did come out and it actually would have worked awesome. It would have worked awesome because when I pulled it out, you could see a lot of detail with it. So if I would have let it in there to dry completely, yeah, it would have been great. So yeah, in the mold, it would have been perfect. So, all right, let's do random at the kind of strong. Lois Post Zwerko, private message me your mailing address. I will get you happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. Now, a lot of people have actually been messaging me for the church yet, the church kit, the unfinished kit. 
be cutting more tomorrow. It should be in by tomorrow night, okay, back in my Etsy shop. So I've, I've gone through two batches. So we'll get some more out there. As long as people want to keep buying them, I'll keep cutting them. So making hearts out of that clay, awesome, awesome. So all right, y'all have a good night. And maybe I'll see you for a live tomorrow. Bye.